Bonjour from France. We are on summer vacation visiting family and decided to take a quick trip to Dijon for the day. So come along and let's explore the city together. But first, here are some introductions. Guys, it's Alice. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> this is Paul's sister, if you Hi, know Paul. subscribers. Hi. <laughs> there's Tyson. And there's Blair. <laughs> and we're going to, to make Dijon? an appearance on your vlog. <laughs> Dijon is honestly one of the most gorgeous cities I've ever been to. The medieval architecture is so well preserved and the center of the city is all pedestrianized, which makes it such a breeze to walk around and not have to worry about cars. When we arrived, we pretty much made a beeline for lunch and fueled up before we hit any of the tourist destinations. Then it was off to the races. We visited a few of Dijon's beautiful churches. Its oldest, and arguably its most famous, comes with a cute little surprise. A pint-sized owl sculpted into the side, which has now become a sort of symbol of the city of Dijon. Apart from the mustard, of course. It's said that if you touch the owl with your left hand and make a wish, your wish will come true. Dijon is the capital of the Burgundy region of France, so if you're into some local delicacy shopping, you'll find lots of wine, but also crème de cassis, which is a black currant liqueur that is used to make kir. And surprisingly, Dijon is also known for gingerbread, which comes in a whole bunch of varieties, and of course, mustard, which also comes in a whole bunch of varieties. After a spot of shopping, we continued exploring, taking in the architecture and stopping for refreshments. We then made our way to Place des Ducs, which is where the Dukes of Burgundy once ruled from. And of course, had to go up the tower, because if you've seen the rest of my videos, you'll have noticed that Paul is obsessed with towers. As you guys know, Paul loves towers, but He's definitely afraid of them, so we're gonna monitor his progress. I'm doing all right. Hey team, coming to you live from Dijon, the city, not the mustard. <laughs> Make sure to smash the like button and, and demolish subscribe. the subscribe button and click the <laughs> notification bell. Oh wow. For new videos. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> We have one more stop here in Dijon before we head back home. We're going to La Cité Gastronomique. Mm. This is a really fun place to come if you want to get a taste of what Dijon has to offer in terms of food, especially if you're not in town for long. There are loads of shops dedicated to all the local specialties, and we obviously spent most of our time in the mustard shop. Okay, team, what are we getting? We are getting pomery and honey mustard. Mm. Both gravy. Mm. Both great. Yeah. You tasted them, they're so it's good, right? It's from Paris, though, which I think Dad will be disappointed uh -oh. in us. Uh oh. He was indeed very disappointed. Thanks for following along all of our mustard adventures from the tangy to the sweet. Peace out from <laughs> Dijon. 
Bye guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye.